Oh my god, monkeys in space. <gasps> Pick up the Pijack from the Nexus docking base. The other thing is, I'm still kind of lost in terms of... Honestly, like, Nexus is the place with all my advisors, and this is called... something else? Sam node? I get kind of mixed up in like these different kind of like staple areas. Do what you want to do. Go where you go into. That's salt at me right now. And also, every week that I pick this up, I'm like, I have to get reacquainted. This is Agent S. Okay, first murder. So we figured out that this guy's innocent, right? Or I forget what the story was. Shoot! I wish I had completed this, like, right when I... He shot the guy. No. He was shot from a different direction, wasn't he? I forget what the story was. He was shot... He's not exactly innocent. He was going to shoot the guy. But then the guy got shot anyway by someone else? Or what was it? Okay, he missed. And he thought he hit. Okay. Okay. But he got hit by someone else. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? You lied to me! Uh, I don't really have an emotional attachment to this guy, so I'm not gonna go with the you lied to me. Yes and no. So yeah, so this is our rider's customized outfit. We made it kind of just pink and purples. Um, it's... Maybe not as iconic as the shepherd farmer outfit. But we're trying. I'm hoping this will stick. We might adjust it as we go. An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. He thought he killed him. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's omni tool recorded you over the body. Sam, play back. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. <laughs> I'm not dying on this rock. <laughs> Had to Shit. do it. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Why does he remind me of my students for some reason? I might have something to say. That's for Tan to decide. <sighs> I don't know how I feel. He thought he murdered him. I feel like Salt must have a really thoughtful answer to this scenario. But like, I don't know how I feel about it because he tried to kill him and he thought he did it. Are many of your students <laughs> murderers? No, but like the way that he was talking being like, um, well, then I'm good, right? You want me to get into this? You don't have to. It's just I feel like you must have... You must have thoughts. Um, because it reminds me of what you were talking about the other day. But, but he didn't actually kill him. So I feel like he shouldn't be called guilty. Because he didn't actually do it. I mean, I hope my students aren't murderers. Good point, no? I might have something to say. I'm not really sure what this response is, but I think it means I might stand up for you. I don't know. I kind of want to say it. I'm going to tan, and I might have a different opinion. You did try to cover it all up. Oh, Look, she's... I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. She wants him to be guilty, or at least that that response was I want to know Salt's yeah I want to know Salt's thoughts too as long as Salt feels not uh 
put on the spot like in class. I'll find it. Do you have just a minute? What? Who are you? Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. Oh no, vid maker. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Oh, this is so interesting. Oh, this is a really important question in my discipline. Can you give us a 40 minute report <laughs> uh, on this Mass Effect mission that you totally prepared for today's stream? We have Salt guest speaking today. Without the act, he's technically not guilty, but he's not innocent. Yeah. But he's innocent of murder, right? Because he didn't kill him, but he had the intent. So, like, attempted murder? <laughs> uh. You're passionate about. Oh, that's a big heart option. Oh, you really can flirt with everyone. Should I? There's no way she's a romanceable character. Guys, okay, chat. Do I continue the, the habit, the tradition of flirting with every possible person or, or not? I feel like I've gotten so many weird rejections that I'm put off by it. That scared me. That scared me! <laughs> Boss Scrub! Thank you for the doot with the sickness conscription of Emperor! Oh, Emperor, I hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you. Rastafari, hello! Flirt, okay, if Annie says flirt, we're gonna flirt. And CM says I recommend flirting. You know what, I don't know how much I trust CM's chaos on this. Not guilty of murder is different from innocent. True. Okay, wait, Salt has an answer. I'm gonna need a slideshow. <laughs> Someone who intends to commit a guilty act and then subsequently acts on that intent becomes guilty. So he did do that. He would be guilty of attempted murder. The sentence is less, but there would be a policy consideration. The first murder in another galaxy and setting an example. Oh yeah. Wow, Salt, I feel like you're like an advisor to a king or something. That's pretty much what I figured. <laughs> okay, we're gonna flirt. We're gonna flirt just to keep everyone happy. No, just because like I'm curious about these people too, right? I don't know who the romance options are gonna be. I should I should keep things open. Thank you again, Boss Scrub, for the gifted sub. Boss scrub for the gift is up. We have so many pillow fort defenders. Um, you're passionate about this. I like that. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's not even flirty. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away. That's not even me. flirty. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to I don't know you guys we're making. I feel like I'm making people uncomfortable. Wait, I have a sort of worry here. And her reaction made me feel this even more. Like I have a sort of worry that I'm like using my position of power and making people uncomfortable by flirting with them. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if that's why everyone is responding so badly to it, because Ryder's like the Pathfinder and um, and then like flirting with these people that like work for her. Hitting on everyone makes people uncomfortable. Weird. <laughs> it's just um, it's like I want to do it to figure out who I like, but at the same time, It makes me feel like I'm creepy. In a way. She flirts awkwardly. That's true. She's she is cute at flirting. Like she's not like being like Shepard has kind of creepy flirts, if you ask me. Like Shepard's like very forward. 
And Ryder is at least like she's like she's barely being flirtatious, to be honest. The topic was microaggressions and sexual harassment stemming from power dynamics. Yep. Pathfinder is being sus. <laughs> Emperor, I'm I hope you enjoy the gifted sub and the emotes. Should we flirt? Chat, yes. You know, I'm putting this on chat. But yeah, I, it is definitely a consideration. The captain, yeah, cultist Tim. Yeah, exactly. If you're the captain and the crew work for you. But, but at the same time, like I'm saying, I don't think her flirtations have been like... I don't think they've been like, like any kind of pressure, but they still might give bad vibes. I don't know. Like that sounded like barely a flirtation. She was like, oh, you're passionate. Oh, it's a shame. Camera shy. Like that's, but yeah. I'm gonna say that's very noble because I think you should tell the truth about history. I love stories. But I think you should, like, this is a whole issue we have right now of, like, oh, yeah, that's a whole thing we could get into. Like, making these versions of the past that are serving a particular agenda and covering up the truth of the situation. Observation about somebody's work is not flirt. Yeah, I didn't think it was very flirtatious. Imagine being passionate. Are you not passionate about Joe Axel? Some of her, yeah, the, the awkward, you know. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. Shepard was so, like, aggressive. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, won't you piss off Tan? I could disagree right away. Well, we'll ask. He don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. I mean, sure. Jalaxel's not something. He's a drow daddy. That's so true. <laughs> That's so true. Can we put that in the quotes? Can we put that in the quotes? Not us talking about history erasure literally two days. Yeah. After Holocaust Memorial Day. Also, after like certain places being like, we can't teach white people about racism. It's, we're gonna make it illegal. And illegal to talk about the history, too. I'll take part, sure, okay. I don't know. Okay, interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? Uh, no, we need to do better. We still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges and how we're going to face them. Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was more fun than I expected. Was that a flirt? You're great. I'll get to work editing. See, like, now I can't even tell because... Okay. Did it just change my... Good to see you. No, I'm trying to go talk with Tan about first murder. Where, where's Tan? Oops. I don't know why I have to click through so many buttons to get out of the menu. As sleepers wake from stasis, you'd think that's a message from Degathur. Yeah, how dare someone teach me? Yeah. You've had a year 
Uh, Lex is not something. See, that's it's such a good quote. We need to have also the more community quotes start. in I the quotes, what I, said. I think. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Okay. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. Dagoth Ur welcomes you, Nerevar, my old friend. But, <laughs> but to who? this place where Not destiny sure yet, is made. But at least we're on the trail. Why have you come unprepared? Did you have some other business? <laughs> Perfect! Sleepers. What kind of bandwidth is she using? It's the year 3000. <laughs> I bet she doesn't have ISP issues. I hope. I hope. Whenever you see a chat you like, call it out and I'll add it to the quote. Okay, thank you. You guys are the best. I also give you all mods permission that if you see something that you think is prime, I'm sure I trust your judgment. There, wait, wait, wait. There was a mission put forward in my state legislature to try to ban the teaching of critical race theory. Yes, that exactly. That is not just by you either. Um, many places. It's, uh, yeah, yep. It's a whole thing. Look how most of these legislators doing it think it's taught in elementary school. Oh my God, I heard also that there was, that there was, um, oh my God. So I, th I don't remember which state it was in. One of these states that's having this debate, debate. It's having this issue. What do you even call it? Um, and they're like trying to go through that process of banning, like talking about and teaching critical race theory. And then there were a bunch of academics that were, that got super worried because there was supposed to be a conference um, sometime in the summer, like a Shakespearean, like a big Shakespeare conference where people are going to present their research and their theories. And obviously there's going to be discussions about Shakespeare and race and critical race theory. And everyone was like, wait, all the academics were like, wait, so is this going to be like illegal now <laughs> by the time we go there? Like this is just bizarre, bizarre, awful experience. Not the children. I've had people say to me before, um, not even working in a subject that's like, uh, like specifically critical race theory, but you know, having pedagogy and like structuring my class informed by such things as critical race theory. Um, I've had people tell me literally like, I feel bad for your white students. I'm like, are you okay? The answer is no, you're not okay. So yeah, I guess I'm kind of passionate about the idea of also having thought about the medieval period in this way for so long, like the way that we think about history and the way that we tell and teach history and the stories that we tell about it really do matter. Like they really, really, really do. Like that becomes the reality. Um, <sighs> the Nilkin murder charge. Yeah, let's talk about that. Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. Oh, Ryder, just going this in. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice. There you go. Now there you go, so Convicted murderer. Who didn't commit the murder? There you go, Salt, setting a precedent. I don't know what I sympathize means. Does that mean I sympathize with the potential murderer or I sympathize with us having to set a precedent? Justice is complicated. I think that sounds reasonable. These things are almost never black and white. I know. 
If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Whoa, that turned like aggressive super fast. I f he was like, oh yeah, it's complicated. Then he's like, you take responsibility for the outcome. And I was like, what? Uh, yeah, great. So this is what it comes down to. Exile him or release him. Shoot! Why do I have to make hard decisions like this in a, in a side quest? I don't know what to choose here because I... Like, why can't we just say it was attempted murder? Why is that not an option? Why can't we be like, hey guys, he didn't kill him. But he should still get some sort of... There should still be some sort of treatment. I don't know. It has never been at any schools in the state. The guy who got elected by the people scared of it proudly announced he was triumphant and stopping it here. Yeah, it's it's like a whole thing too where like Yeah, people people are like, oh my gosh, critical race theory. It's gonna destroy our children and the education system and make people make white people feel bad is like the the argument, but also, like, yeah, like you're saying, those people don't know that, like, how many people actually have grown up with critical race theory or anything relating to that being an integral part of their education? Like, it's already not there for the most part. People don't even start talking about that usually, at least in school in school systems I've known about and been exposed to until college. And then only then, if you're at like particular institutions or you take certain kinds of classes. So like, it's also showing, I guess, that there isn't critical education about it in the first place for the most part but like even the slight notion of it scares people <sighs> shut down teaching of american history yeah i mean there's the whole thing with how history textbooks are and like the industry behind that like it's a whole thing um yeah to move to the south from Chicago, that's that's ridiculous, yeah. And I mean, you know, it's it's a. I don't feel like I can be an effective I can be an effective lawyer without taking a long reflective look at how the judicial system and affiliated institutions have oppressed and marginalized entire races. Can critical race theory is necessary? Yes. Salt. I'm so glad. I wish that that was more important to everyone doing that sort of thing. Fuck the Dane, welcome in. Hotline to snitch on teachers who mention anything about, oh my God. Oh yeah, somebody told, oh, it's ridiculous. It's, and it's so like, this is a really important subject. We could obviously like keep talking about like and why why it's important to tell history and also mention that history is like a story like like what you are taught of history is just one usually 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 um usually just like one narrative that has been crafted that way to a specific end like so uh, what was I gonna say though? What your your story reminded me of? There was this teacher that I forget who it was. I don't remember if this was someone I knew in real life or someone from online. Uh, but she was talking about how um 
she was talking about how like she worked in a private school that was like you know a religious private school and she I forget what it was told her class something about dinosaurs and it was like young children like elementary school children one day she told her class something about dinosaurs and and then she got like called into the administrator's office after that and they were like why are you mentioning dinosaurs and she was like I don't know we just had like a little you know history of earth thing and they were like the only reason we let the kids watch movies with dinosaurs in them is because like we want them to know that they're fiction just like like Disney and I was like when I heard that story I was like what and I suddenly got like very aware of just Education is both a beautiful thing and very, very, very fraught. Yeah, they literally said that. They were like, they were like, the only reason we let them watch, like, I don't even remember what, what kids' dinosaur show is. They're like, because, like, that's like, uh, you know, we want the, they should think about that like, like fiction. So, like, don't go teaching them lessons about, dinosaurs having been yeah I learned about dinosaurs I remember doing a project too and I think that's the kind of thing that she was doing and she literally got in trouble by the administration for it I wish I could remember who this was that told me this because I think it was someone I just literally I can't remember tells kids how to feel towards each other based on skin color instead of getting to know them as they are. Critical race theory doesn't do that though. Critical race I mean what you're describing sounds kind of like color blindness like like color doesn't matter which isn't even though people like think that that sounds like a good approach it's really harmful because it just ignores the problem. Like the fact is that if you have darker skin, you're going to be treated differently. Like the farther you are from white, at least, you know, in a lot of places in the world, but you know, we're talking in the American context specifically right now, like, Like it, it's it's inherently structured into like it's it's structural racism. So like, like the ideal would be people get to know each other as people, and it doesn't matter. But that's not how it works, you know. So like teaching people how to be critical about it is like making people aware of the things that do affect life already. inner archaeologist in me is screaming right now comes from the fact a lot of people only vote for the president I mean I don't know you know but I dropped a lego piece but after 20 minutes of searching I found it that's the best feeling and you're not gonna step on it later and you're not gonna step on it later so Ban all books not straight white and Christian. Ended up on national news for saying we should burn these books. Yeah, that's that's awful. That's uh, I heard a little bit about that too. Yeah. Well, look at these video games make you think. And also the other thing is some of these topics, like people will be like, you shouldn't think about these things when you play games. You should just play games to have fun. It's like, these games are written this way. Like if you don't think like Bioware games, like Mass Effect 
and Dragon Age are like dealing with these structural issues of Yeah, like we were just talking about, or she even just asked, history and stories and racism and othering and oppression. Like, it's so inherently part of these games that it, like, brings us to conversations like this. <sighs> okay. That was a little bit of a divergence, but I think it was important. Um, and I still don't know what to do about this guy. Despite going on a rant for however long, I still don't know what, what a good decision is here, and I don't know why we can't, like, nuance. I don't know why we can't, you know, charge him for attempted murder. And we just have to, like, go with this murder charge. I'm going to say we release him. I don't feel really good about that, but it seems to force. Yeah, I feel more toward the release him because at the end of the day, he didn't kill him. And this might set a really bad precedent, though. I don't, he did try to murder. Yes, he did. But he didn't do it. It is attempted murder. It's definitely attempted murder, but it's not murder. And then like, what if we say exile him? What does that mean? Like, exile him for murder. That's the punishment for murder, I guess. But then he's receiving a punishment that doesn't fit his crime either. Did he not kill him because he failed at it? Yeah, kind of. Okay, it's true. He did. You know what? You guys are convincing me that he's more guilty now. <sighs> this is like in Witcher when I was almost going to let the lighthouse keeper keep running the lighthouse after he admitted that he was purposefully crashing ships. Uh, and then he was like, I won't do it anymore. And I was like, oh, okay, he's changed. <laughs> I think he is more guilty. Because he... He wanted and tried to get the outcome of murder. And uh, like, that doesn't mean that he's going to do it again. And he isn't the reason the guy is dead, but he would have been the reason the guy is dead. But that's like a would have. <sighs> they didn't bring lawyers. Yeah, I guess we got to consult the chat for this. He's more guilty than not. If he had only conspired to murder, that would be different. Yeah. I think we got to exile him. I, I want to be, like, not punishing people, but I think it's a, a slightly better option here. Shove him aside forcefully. Is that going to become a meme? It literally said, shove Dijkstra out of the way. Did it say forcefully? And I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds, that sounds doable. Why do you want to release him? Only because I'm like, well, he he isn't the reason the guy is dead. He isn't the reason the guy is dead. Um, although he intended to murder him, he didn't. And attempted murder should be treated differently than actual murder, in my mind. Airlock. <laughs> we say airlock. Exile. We're gonna exile. God, I need to make decisions faster. He intended to kill the chief. I mean, we went on a. Believed he'd done it. Banish him. Agreed. Sometimes we must rule with our hearts. I hope my conscience will be as clear as yours seems to be. Well, mine is we'll have the sordid business behind. I us. feel. <sighs> I don't like that choice. But I guess that's that's a Bioware game for you. Wait, what is... Is that Cora? Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Cultist Tim, thank you for the follow. Whole mood of the Nexus Why is, is she here? Senzios. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. 
Third time's a charm, if you happen to have a Pathfinder around. Can't always rely on luck. From here, it's hard work. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Choice with new nuance? Yeah, I... I didn't like either of those choices, but... You know, that's not new in Bioware either, like... There have definitely been other quests before where I, like... There isn't always a good option, I guess, but yeah, in real life, I feel like it could have been more nuanced. Three-fourths of the cake is gone! You can do it. You gotta have it gone. Oh shoot, it's midnight here. I was gonna say by midnight, but... Um, let's go on with the main quest now. We've had a lot of talking and thinking about deep subjects, and a little bit of imperfect resolution with a side quest, so I kind of want to go hopefully get some more alien stuff uncovered. Zanarg, welcome in! You're so hesitant to make the decision that we start- yeah, I know, we started talking American- that was a good talk to have, though. I love that we, as a community, like, we are able to have talks about subjects that are important in the real world, and also, like I said, like, very much also stem from the games that we play, so. I don't think I can be completely blamed for that divergence. Bioware provokes these thoughts, okay? They do. Okay, let's go. Do you guys like the ship better in this game than the Normandy? I'm not sure really how I feel about it yet. Like there's a certain, uh, there's a certain charm to the Normandy's like dark corners and a reminder to all personnel, overtime hours remain uh, like kind of like easy Construction and repairs continue spatial design. I don't know. After seeing how the people here spoke about the current real world events. Oh, I'm proud of this community. We uh really try to. I don't think any community is like perfect. It's constantly something to like be aware of. Uh, but we really try to uphold values that are important. Hopefully to all of us. Alongside having fun and playing games. The quality of the community, the pillow fort, honestly, I am, I am so lucky. And I know it's not completely luck, but I, I feel really lucky to have this community. They throw in some big decisions that were Yes, exactly, Zanarg. Exactly. It's 1 a.m. here. See, do it. Okay, then do as um. How about before you go to sleep, you try to eat the whole cake? Okay, unless it's I feel like I'm encouraging you to eat a whole cake. And I don't really know why I am. Uh I am a true Alto. I know. I like. I I'm, I'm like, or I was most of my life, like really self-conscious about my voice. Vote on your favorite ship. Oh yeah, the poll! Vote for the Normandy or the Tempest is, oh, I keep forgetting the name. I'm not used to it yet. I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about it. I feel like it's too soon for me to say yet, because I'm just more comfortable with the Normandy. Um, and obviously this game has... Cora wanted to check in with you. Oh, wait, I just talked to Cora. Well, that's cool. I kind of like that they tell me that. Uh, where is Cora? Cora is... She was so like, this is what you and Ryder do for fun. Explore weird vaults that try to kill you. Yeah. We fly into space clouds that try to kill us too. Wait, bro. I deserve a raise. 
The space vaults are super cool so far. Uh, Cora, Cora, Cora. See, I'm not used to where everyone is. I think she's like, she's down below and on the side. Um, pretty much everyone is somewhere else other than there. Moderation is key for cake eating. <laughs> I mean, whatever makes you happy and doesn't make you feel sick, I think is a good amount. Normandy. Well, we only got three votes in there, so there wasn't a lot of voter participation, but Normandy still won. I'd be curious to know the reasons. Wait, where is Cora? Cora? Cora is more back here, I think. No. So, Vetra, hmm? I hear this joker beat you with poker, too. Where'd you hear that? The little Brody told her. A gloating Brody. It was a close game. It did give me a better game than Drac. Not saying much. Watch it. Forget him. <laughs> Let's get a game going with everyone else to hone our skills and take him Wicked out. Grace? Let's do it. Hey, Costa, want in on this? No thanks. I need my creds. And my clothes. And both my kidneys. And both my kidneys. Oh no. Uh, well I like that the companions like seem to... I like that kind of ambient party banter. Where the heck is Korra though? Uh, seems like I've run into everyone else. Tempest feels more like a home. Okay. I love these games so much. They have a couch! <laughs> a really old, decayed couch. That's pretty relatable. Where are you, Cora? Why can't I find in the vehicle bay her little room with the hydroponic? I'm trying to remember Report where that the is. Nexus. Oh, populations growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. He's smiling. Oh, I wish I could care for my can't plants tell like if they that. Have enough water or too much. Relatable. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. Wait, that's so cute. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and- Oh my God. Sometimes. <laughs> Wait, Roses that's so cute. Helios. That's so cute, you guys. That's like the kind of thing I would, <laughs> that I would think about too. You gotta have something that gets you through it, you know? I like that idea of food first, then flowers. I like that idea. I like that idea. It'd be good to bring something beautiful across galaxies. Everyone in the initiative has their something beautiful. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? I should go. The initiative would suit you better. <laughs> I should go. She said. Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. Well, why didn't you have the... Uh, that was cold. Why didn't she get to decide that? Wow. You fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It hurt. One big kick out of the nest. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, People can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. <laughs> Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. What part of that vision I don't know how I feel about that so far, a you civilization guys. civilization where everyone had a place, even AI. Or an overpowered human biotic. Your father said, I get being different. Now imagine being welcome and making others like you welcome too. When I was 13, 
I could warp a steel girder. You made me wonder, what if someone had told me that's okay? Nothing certain. I don't know what that means. The whole expedition might never have launched. Dad knew that. He wouldn't be stalled by minor issues like credits or physics. Physics? So <laughs> minor issue? Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought you I guys knew say what niche? I was going to be. I say niche. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get why she feels this way. I get it. I mean, I don't really want to be Pathfinder, honestly, but <laughs> we'll see how this role feels going forward. We are playing the main character, so... There's a certain necessity to it, but... I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. I feel like she reminds me a little bit so far of like, I get like a Cassandra vibes a little bit where like, she's like, soldier job focused but now this thing about the garden reminds me of cassandra having her like romance novels oh how'd you get under there uh, suvi were you talking to your notebook oh i was wasn't i that's yeah, completely sometimes. normal yeah very cassandra vibes okay i'm glad it wasn't just me like i don't know her that well as a character so far but how has the stream been, y'all, in terms of, dare I ask, frames and two common pronunciation variants? Niche? It rhymes with sheesh. <laughs> niche, the more common one. Oh, niche is more common. It's been doing okay. Okay. Thank you, CM. I probably, why did I? Why did I dare ask? Let's go to a planet. Let's go space. Exploration. Exploration simulator. Um, oh God, not this. Not this very strange movement. Anomaly on sensors. That I already forgot how to do from the one other time we did it. <laughs> um, these, Exclamation points mean they all have anomalies or something. I don't really want to do all those right now, if that's okay with everyone. What did I miss? Joe, you didn't miss that much. We had to make a difficult decision about a murder conviction that wasn't really a murderer but was pretty close to a murderer and then we talked to Cora. We're on a collision course with unknown objects. Make corrections. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop now! There's always some kind of... Cat ships. A dozen. No, more. Uh... Hello? <laughs> They've got us pinned against the Scourge. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. We'll scan them back. Scan them back. <laughs> I kind of love Ryder. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Hello? He's dead. Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. This guy doesn't, doesn't follow very traditional social patterns of like hello how you doing <laughs> we have your dna uh you first uh, that's kind of like the the cheeky kind of answer 
You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. Oh, wow. I want to explain what you've It's kind of understand. exciting. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. Ah, uh, yes, the computer in my brain. Um... I might understand. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough! <laughs> your defiance is naive and reckless. Oh. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. You have very striking eyes. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! That ship design is interesting. Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. Yay, we're gonna crash! Best adventures crashing. It will be tight. Callo. Yes! <laughs> Your extended car warranty. <laughs> We have your DNA. <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah, but who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down Pen pal. You need to find us a port now. Great. Where'd we end up, anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? Kill, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're setting down. So they're not pursuing We're being us. Contacted. We have to land. Hoping to calm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. Does anyone speak this language? We come in peace. <laughs> I feel like Ryder's literally operating off of like sci-fi genre as as their main resume for like being the pathfinder <laughs> we come in peace listen sorry to just show up like this but i swear we're the galactic good guys efanola farhan and gasad regara efanola <laughs> they're forcing us to land how Wait, how are they land. forcing us They're escorting us. Ooh, green and waterfalls. Yes. <gasps> Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh god, I am Ryder. <laughs> Sees green. I don't know, that'd be pretty exciting. Marvel movie vibes. Yeah, I hear that. We need in that vault. Please. You're not really going out there on your own. We can't I afford mean... a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I like how they're all just staring at me. Oh my god, this is like... Look! Ryder and, and PB are looking into each other's eyes right now. Like, Korra's, like, kind of looking at Ryder, and Liam's looking at Ryder, but Ryder's looking at EB. I don't know. It might be a sign. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Me at you. Me at Twitch chat. <laughs> if this goes badly, please destroy the vids. Instead, you clip everything. Need me to take my shoes off? Why don't we have like in this day and age like auto translators in our eardrums? Uh 
I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed dark space. I've heard of your journey. Joel. Oh, it's new. I have this in ah. hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. She's a human from another galaxy. Okay, you're very aggressive. A pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. Why are you so what close you to me? Am I being challenged? You have a vault. <laughs> this is such a human thing to say, like, why is this human here? You have a vault. We raid vaults. <laughs> you know, my supervisor, they had uh, these guys in Mass Effect 3? You know what? I don't know if I remember. Does anyone have clarification on that? Okay, they're from Andromeda. I, I was like, I don't remember them. At least not in the main wrong galaxy. Okay, that makes sense. Mm, well, let's let's be honest. You have a vault. I'm sorry. I mean, I could say I'm sorry, but like, there's a whole initiative here. I don't know if if Ryder's really like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm part of a whole initiative to do this. You have a vault. Our intentions are simple. He'd like to look in your vault, and then we're out of here. You think that's simple? <laughs> I mean, it's horrible. <laughs> you don't know anything. I'll okay. inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. I'm surprised they're even letting us go through the city. Darkspawn. <laughs> Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Hey, we got a PB Understood. quest. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. Cool. I can't roam if free. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. Ooh, this What's is that? pretty. They fight the Ket and protect us. The resistance. Okay, so they're the military of some sort? Okay, I love these plants. I, I love the water. Of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. We're going to shy here, this. You don't know what you're doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. Yeah, we what? know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. I mean, you kind of are. I... You kind of are here to cause trouble. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, Ryder, are you... None of the local flora register in my data files. We've oh. encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city you don't is say. beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. That's a human. I'm honored. J yeah, just go through what the ancient if vaults. Ephra doesn't like me. He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. Oh my god. You're a leader. Trying to be. I can't see. This is the resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. I like this. It's cool. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak. No. I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. A 
really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. Look at his Pawafui blowing in the wind. I mean, I understand. I I feel like people don't need to explain to me why they're distrustful and Sorry, a little bit of a chapstick break. Understood. I'm not going to say you can trust us. I feel like saying you can trust us. Hello, Nasasu. Is like, I don't know what's going to happen as a result of these two things coming together or like, I don't want to promise anything. I love that look around face <laughs> that you do. Welcome in. We've had our own run-ins with the cat. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Ah, Took what he hello. Wanted, as if we were nothing. Now the cat mercilessly abduct Angara. Often we never see our people again. Come this way. Wow. Ephra is waiting. Wait, they the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With Why everything are they abducting we them? Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Milky Finder. Way. <laughs> it's an aggressive move, move coming to Aya. I apologize or damn right. Milky. That one goes out to our brother Milk, who is named after the Milky Way and his mustache. That the parents totally knew that he would have. <laughs> The Milky Way. Mm, I apologize. It wasn't meant that way. I have an ark full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you, the Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault, but now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Hmm, very aggressive about that. What does the heart mean? The heart is like an emotional answer. Like you're thinking with your heart in some way. Uh, and the cog is supposed to be like practical or um something like that yeah so those are usually the like two kinds of options we have sometimes we have the squiggly option and i like taking the squiggly option because they're like kind of funny there must be another way how can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? That's of true. Course. Ephra, I feel. <laughs> Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. 
The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when she tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Hi. Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Welcome aboard. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. That's funny. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. Charming. Oh, I will. Yeah, it was charming. You really think the Moshe is alive? I'm sure of it. Don't Are we just going alone, me and him? Home. No promises. Surely we'll get to bring some other... Rider, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. Okay. He's going Your on board with us. Is... <laughs> we have nothing Oh, like you it. like my ship? Wait till you see the inside. <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. There's plants. You ready to go? Yeah, we can explore. Am I allowed to explore this place now? Because when I first came in, she was like, don't explore anywhere. Don't talk to anyone. Um, I guess we can always come back. I hope you grow to like him. Hello. Narza Ben Nu still. Welcome in. I might have completely ruined that. How are you? Yeah, I mean, he seems fun so far. We, we have kind of just a first impression going, but he seems fun. I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. We can always come back and explore later. I think. If I'm allowed to do that now. Sniffy boy, now flirty boy. Narzi is fine, okay. For some reason, your name reminded me of Narbendel. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Oh, Cora is hype. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Oh. Do the translators not work? They work. Oh, oh no, oh no. I feel like managing the, the crew dynamic is a lot different in this so far. Black Rhino, hello! Oh, then Moo might be on cooldown or something. Pog back. Yes, Pog. He just doesn't know it yet. Yeah, he's he look, he's sitting in the corner alone in the dark. Managing Jack and oh my god, Jack and Miranda. I definitely have a favorite in that group, though. Um, I'm assuming I can go back and look around. Maybe I can't, but oh well. I mean, we'll see. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? Seriously. Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear it. Oh my gosh. Me. He slammed the desk. One day, about 80 years ago. Story time. The Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. 
They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? <laughs> because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jal's told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vold. Sounds... Before the Scourge disaster... Settle down, Slam's desk. <laughs> ...was a thriving planet of millions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket Command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. Ooh. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. That's not good. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Thanks, I'll think. Yes, it is. Who, me? My weekly glass of milk ready to go. That's all you need, Black Rhino. It's going well. It's going well. We're finally... I mean, there's so much meat to this game. Like, it provoked some good talks. We got some companion time, and now we're questing. I want to get out there and see it. Wait, what? Kidding. Just... That was so cringe. <laughs> that was so cringe. What have so you gotten yourself into? Jal, give Kello the nav points for both planets. Wait, what? Let's do this. I wonder if they really wanted a contrasting protagonist to Shepard. Um, and that's why this... Still compiling my first impressions, but even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Try not to scare him away, huh? <laughs> Liam, you're not supposed to be listening to confidential doctor conversations. Aya has so much biodiversity and the waterfalls. Just like Sir Kesh. Oh, PB is not in here. Okay, well, I should get to select my squad, right? Uh, can I do like a nice? We'll do a save. Do a little bit of hydrate. Um, escape this. Anomaly on sensors. Oops, I went too far. Anomaly on sensors. I'm super, I'm so good at accents, aren't I? <laughs> you are lucky if you didn't have to hear that Caddy Brie accent the other day. Well, I could scan these things and I'm debating it, but no. So, wait, I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go? Available minerals, a trail of oak. Yeah, where, how do we, how do we go? 
Landing zone. Oh, okay. Yes. Still not used to it. Space travel simulator. Still feels like I should just be like selecting the place. So this is back to the city we were in. I'm not sure if this is the right starting point. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Guys, I'm stuck in a loop of boarding and unboarding this planet. <laughs> Oh, look at that ship. Wow, it's like we didn't just arrive one second ago. Okay, back into space. Back to the map. Pathfinder, Where the heck? I'm going to Volder, Havarl. That's what I'm trying to figure out. System view. Anomaly on sensors. Where is this? Where are they talking about? Oh, it is way out here. Why did I think? Oh, I saw the ship icon and I went, okay. We have to go over here. Avaral scientists. Whee. This reminds me of the screensavers back on Windows 95. Our ancestors came from this system, from Havar. It looks so small from here. I used to think that something. the like traveling through the stars screensaver was like the coolest thing. I would sit there and stare into it for just minutes on end and be like, I'm traveling space. And now we have stuff like this. I'm excited to go out there with a new companion. I don't really know what kind of class he's going to be. But honestly, I don't usually worry about that too much. Landing zone, nice. Yes. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep my weapon. Sending the nav point for Da Palev. That's where the emotions team should be. I'm excited. It used to be. An Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big. Possibly hostile. Oh, Taking no. evasive action. There's always. Wait. I don't think it's. What does that mean? That's so cool. Wait, I love that. Well, that's something you don't see back home. As long as I don't have to fight them. Bringing us in. Ooh, it's a very dark and stormy kind of atmosphere. My favorite. It gives me Witcher vibes. The flappy fi- they looked so cute! Oh! Blues, purples, pinks. 
Um, y'all. When, when I change the loadout, is that when you're supposed to change your squad members? Because I've just had Liam and Cora everywhere and I want to switch them out, but was that in the weapon loadout menu? I thought I had to bring Jaw. I thought Jaw would be here by default. Um. Is there like a way to switch? Characters? I've never gotten these two out of my party. It's in the loadout. Oh. <laughs> Hashtag Braddy Mud. Oh god. Okay, I guess I shouldn't just... Okay, so can I go back into this by doing this? Sorry. Leaving Avaral. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. I thought the weapon loadout was just like, just the weapons, so I kind of just was like, oh, I'm good to go with that. An ostrich! Welcome in! For a ship, but I never choose it because it feels so obvious. Yeah, it, it's a... Okay, so if I click it now, will they ask me again? Come by. Wait, who'd they say? Someone wanted to talk to me, they said. Uh, is it gonna ask me for my crew again? I hope it does. We are having a good, good pillow fort day today. Ostrich, how are you? We had nachos, we had talk of cake. We actually, we talked about a lot of food. No safe word yet. Oh, yes, lactose, lactose. Um, Will going back like this get me the loadout menu again? Is this how I can select them? Just, I mean, all I did was go out away and come back. So I don't know if that fixes the problem. Yes, okay. Thank you. Okay, so where do I go for this? It kind of throws me off because I'm used to the squad selection being like the first thing and then the weapons coming after. So I was like waiting for it, not realizing. Oh, you can customize the nomad. Okay. I just kind of want to get out there right now. Squad mate number one. How do I s change you? Jaw. I, that's weird that it was going to make me say for what kind of stream is this? It's for spoilers, ninja dude. It's no spoilers except for the safe word lactose. And then you can answer my question. Because I ask a lot of rhetorical questions, you know? You can change loadouts at the probe things. That, yeah, I remember that too. Okay, so we'll go with Jal. I, I can't believe it let me go without him. Like, he's like, I'll show you the way. I'll, you can earn our trust. And then... I, I'm so used, I'm still used to the Dragon Age system where you get three companions. We have a bit of background in the ship name, Amaryllis. Oh, I like putting purpose to names too. I do. Okay, we got PB and Jal. I think that's a pretty good team. Um, Rogue Academic. Oh, I love that title. And Resistance Fighter. Let's go. We should be fine with what we have for weapons. Team Blue. The Entering color of Lava Lord. In Indoctrination. This planet looks gorgeous. It's like the blues and purples. Like, look at that. The, the, the moon or whatever that is up there. That's not a moon. What is that? It's like... Pretty pink color. Like a sunset. 
Can I save before we go? Okay, good. Now that we have our squad, let's explore. Let's hope this goes better than me exploring those different dimensions in Witcher last night. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all these plants! The vault must be fully operational here. It is beautiful. But the wilds can it's also a moo moment. be deadly. Moon! Oh, I love it. I love it, LH. <laughs> a gas giant. This is so pretty. I'm with PB. We're like, ooh, it's so pretty. And Jal's like, danger. It is dangerous. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Hello? Ow. I don't think that was the right way to go up here, but... Okay, there's one of those glowed out things. I don't think I'm supposed to go in the window. That's glass. That is glass. Okay, question. This world has me thinking. I'm getting like Black Reach Skyrim vibes from the uh, aesthetic here. But do you guys like the aesthetic of like a cool toned world like this? Blues, purples. Or like warm tones. Like, I don't know, because I could go for either. Gee. Oh my god, I forgot about scanning. I forgot about scanning things. We're in a whole pl new place. Oh, here's the front door. Not me trying to go in the window and the locked door. Warm tones. I like cities and whatnot. I like both. This is your aesthetic legitimately, Morgan. I think of you with anything blue like this. Make their own path. Oh, gee. Okay, we'll talk to that in a second. That, that little crisis happening there with the scientists. Um, conjunction of the spheres? Where's Geralt? Right? Right? It all comes back. Wait, where else am I getting a ping? It's a flower that thrives in harsh environments. I like that. See? Poetic! Oh, what was that? Poetic meaning, poetic name. Don't forget, we also have a scan command chat. Also, Morgan, how are you? Are you pumped for D&D? You're never as excited as I am. Suddenly Mel, the legendary space captain, slams into the window. <laughs> doing here in the company of these people people Kira, this is pathfinder rider from a long way away rider kiran dows lead scientist at darpalev okay well so i'm glad everyone or at least some of you are still alive i just have to say havarl is beautiful the planet's beauty is the least of my current concerns Where's the rest of the team? Yeah, that's... <laughs> Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to that's help the investigation. Ryder's like... You haven't heard? Hog. While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of Remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. See, like, the color palette is, like, mirroring these people. Like, they have, like, these purples and blues and pinks, too. Grad students, probably. Oh, salt. <laughs> How dare. 
You can wrap so much about a ship into its name, so why waste it? I'm not as excited because I'm the adult of the D&D &D group. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Wild Strider, welcome in. Her next alien crush. And when you say next, it's like next. Sounds depressing. I mean, she doesn't have to be. She puts herself into that role. You could just let the chaos unravel. <sighs> but not dead? Are they still alive? Vitals remain steady and neural patterns resemble those exhibited in deep sleep. We subjected them to various stimuli, injections of Kachari, nothing worked. Let Ryder try. She's worked at the remnant tech inside a vault. Or so she says. Ocean of fish, one will have gems in its mouth. But if you think the alien can help, I'll set skepticism aside. The monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis and it may happen again. Well, I'm ready for something strange to happen, honestly. I'm not imagining this is gonna be... Uh, something we can just AFK. Oh, those lights! Look at those little... F glowing dragonflies! I'm finishing this Mass Effect 3 and then I'm restarting it. See? It's great! You the GM. No, not even the GM. Just like the mom of the group. We're not even that unruly. We're not even that unruly. Don't believe her. She's a very lawful character and so is her um, NPC romance. We're in a bit of a spat. Wait, are we? <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, that's something I wanted to do initially was to get back in the in the mindset with chat. But we just ended up talking about D and D in general, and I didn't ever get to talking about the role play moments we left off at and trying to get back in that mindset. Oh no, I have to climb more towers. But this time there's mushroom things too. And Wild Strider, that's what's good about something like these Bioware games, you know? They are very replayable. Very, very replayable. Well, I should check my map. Okay, so we're trying to get that way, but I don't really know. There's like some sort of wall here. <gasps> Scanning! Can I scan Jaw? No. Ooh, this is pretty. Watch out for Rokar and Garen fanatics that hate aliens. That means you. Charming. I love the point of view of hearing people call humans aliens. Moo. Get that moo on, chat. Lexa AI maker. I almost stopped at AI and I was like, <laughs> that's a different meaning than saying maker of AI. How are you? Wait, there's enemies here somewhere. I hear Jal uh, grunting. Oh, we did sort of a... Uh... Where are these enemies? I'm not very good at jumping in this game. Uh, I have to also remember that I can do that. Well, I got the high ground, but- Oh! But now I'm out- Oh, there's one right here! They jump! They jump! They jump to the high ground. Oh. 
That was not an enemy, that was Jaw. Got him. Where else? I don't want to kill these peaceful lizards. I mean, they're not really peaceful, but like... Wait, what are you shooting at? Is there one up here? My awareness right now is remarkably low. This is our first combat situation in a week, okay? Remember that before you judge me for shooting people in the knee and elbow at point blank with a sniper <laughs> rifle. I actually just hate switching weapons. Mineral cash. We go four hours in the week, so we play. Grad school makes it difficult. Yeah. Jumpy boys. Her heart's in the right place. I rem. You know what? I get really into the role playing of D and D once I'm there. And I am the only D and D player in our group that keeps a journal, so I can always look at my notes. Look at these lavender orbs. If lavender orbs were a plant, I would name it Driss. We choose to roast you for it. I did choose this. I did. Wait, Cultist Tim, what do you guys do for d and I, we did like a 12 hour d and session once, like a year ago in January before it was like exactly a year ago. It was before the spring semester started um, a year ago. And we did like a 12 hour total run. Uh, just because we're like, we're gonna get back into school soon and we wanna get it. I thought of the shoving in Witcher 3, oh my God. <laughs> Stone pirates! I feel like we scarred so many people with that. And by we, I'm saying we, so I don't have to take all the credit for it. Lego! Hello! 12 hour session. Yeah, it was so cool. Like, you get so into that headspace, it's hard to get out of when you do. Go back to school as a teacher, as both. Student and teacher. Um, and back to Miss Prime has redeemed an old English word. Wait, we haven't had this in months. I feel like ever since I was like, hey guys, I want to leave grad school. Everyone's like, we can't redeem old English words anymore. Back? Um, okay, so, oh no. How do I look at this material again? Wait, who is messaging me right now? My mom? What is my mom? Y'all. My mom is up playing Valheim. The apple doesn't, <laughs> doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> you guys, do you want to hear something hilarious about that while I look for an old English word? And hopefully nothing attacks me in the game. <sighs> Recently, we, our, our Valheim and Minecraft servers got wiped because uh, there was some kind of error with Minecraft. And I don't really play either of these very much. Like, I'll occasionally go on to Valheim so I can be with the family doing it. But anyway, they were trying to reset things in the Minecraft server. And then it ended up wiping both the Minecraft and Valheim servers that we had and so like all of our home base and all of our construction and all of our progress was gone 
And instead of my mom being upset about that, because she's been, she like got immediately obsessed with Valheim. And she's always trying to get us to play it. Uh, instead of being upset about it, she was like, I'm really excited to rebuild everything in Valheim. Like she had this renewed sense of purpose and it was so cute. <laughs> and she was like so excited that it accidentally got erased. Um, and now she's just been like going hard, rebuilding everything. Yeah, I'm lucky to have a gaming family. No, my mom's not streaming. Her internet's far too bad. My mom might stream actually if she had the internet for it, but she. Mel Mom is what started the gaming in this family. Um, so. What should we do for an old English word? Ooh, this is kind of a cool wor word. The word for morsel. Aren't you a tasty little morsel? Prin. Prin. H R I N. Morsel. I'll probably stop watching here. <laughs> CM! You would betray me for my own family? Oh my god, I love it. If if Mel Mom starts streaming, I would stop streaming. Uh because I would just I would just become a VIP in that chat and just be there 24/7. <laughs> I cannot for your mom. Listen, my mom is a redhead. And like actually naturally, not like this. Okay, so that's our word, Hrin. Morsel. <laughs> okay, I've never described a mushroom as pretty, but those are. Let's be careful. I love around mushrooms. The flora. Okay, everyone? If you get any fungal slime on your skin, I suggest you wash it off immediately. Okay, fungal slime, wash your hands. <sighs> We paid every week from the end of Friday night, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. <gasps> you know what? I could totally be in that group because I get so addicted to like the escapism of role playing and D&D stuff. Like I get so addicted to that. So if 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 someone let me, I would live my whole life probably in in some sort of some sort of role-playing escapism like literally that's no not these guys cover I hit my funny bone so hard. No! Salt! I legit thought you were saying that like you were... Like you were saying you were so funny. is up there. I hope you're okay, Salt. We need your humor. You can't break your funny bone. Uh oh, we got the pistol. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm standing right in the laser. Please put down your shield, sir. My pinky's thumb! No! What did you- I'm assuming it was an accident and you weren't slamming your desk. I'm assuming it was an accident. I need ammo. Can I please get ammo? My mom never went past Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but it's a start. It's a start! 
have not played in about two and a half years now. No. I hope you, I hope you get the chance to get some sort of D&D &D going again. It's really, it's so hard to make things like work with people's life situations sometimes with D&D. &D. Like my sisters, I can just harass and be like, y y you guys, we haven't played D&D. &D. We need to play D&D. &D. And I can harass them about it. But other people, <laughs> yeah. What was the first video game you ever played? Ever played. That's a hard question, because like as as long as I can remember in my conscious memory, there were always video games. And I don't know if I like Morgan, can you help me here? Do you do you know what the first video game you ever played was? I I don't know if I even played on like the Sega Genesis before we got the Xbox. Because I know we had it and I know I did play on the Sega Genesis, but I don't know if that was like after or before because I was still pretty young when we got the Xbox. When did the original Xbox come out? Yeah, I feel like it might have been Azuric. At least, like, as far as I can remember. Minolio! We got the nachos. Thank you. I have them sitting right next to me for a late night snack. Early morning. I mean, can you guys remember your first ever game? I th I was just so young that I don't... Gaming during the week, we were crazy short-staffed. Seven people out from COVID. Keep hearing that. Taking turns playing. Comic Zone tilted me more than... I, I think it might have been Azric Rise of Parathia, which, un which would explain my attachment I know I played like Sonic the Hedgehog on the on the um it's like a Genesis, but I missed dinner because we were doing a Pirates of the Caribbean watch party. <laughs> See um uh, this is fine. I wish I could send you my nachos and, and share them with you. First GTA, a really old Sonic game, yeah. I know I also had like a little, this came later though. I had a little like Barbie laptop computer. It was like a fake little toy laptop that was like Barbie themed, but it actually had some pretty fun little games on it. Like it had a menu of like a hundred games and they weren't obviously like RPGs or anything like that. Like they were little computer platformer or like things like that kind of, but they were fun. But I think that was after. It's hard to think back. I wish I could remember that moment. Like the first time I picked up any kind of video game. I remember like the earlier ones in my life, but I don't know if, yeah, I just don't have that first. I need ammo real bad. Oh, there. I do like the little ammo cache you get. It seems like they 
do a pretty good job putting those. Pong. Yeah, I think a lot of people it's Pong or something like that too. The Sega channel? What's the Sega channel? Club Penguin membership? Not me. I don't even really know what Club Penguin is. Is that bad? I wish I could send my fish and chips. That sounds good. Lemmings? I don't know lemmings either. Oh, not this. Not this. Oh, we have to do the... You'll need to scan for the missing glyphs, Pathfinder. Yes, yes, yes. It's, I need to remember to scan anyway. I keep forgetting. Found them. The researchers caught in the stasis field. Exactly where Kieran said they would be. Okay, let's solve this thing. Yay, solving puzzles! With my 1am brain. I, I love old game nostalgia. I don't know. I mean, I love a new, polished, amazing looking game, but honestly, I still have so much fun going back and playing games that made me happy in the past. Like, I I don't know. I think about video games that were in the, the early years of my life a lot. I don't know, do you guys? Like, maybe I just have some sort of childhood, uh, issue or something, but. Mm-hmm. Mm. Every GameCube game I played growing up, like, it's like, I don't know if it, do you think it's the games themselves or do you think it's just like some part of us idolizing like that part of our life where it was as simple as like, oh my God, I'm so excited to play this game. And that was it. You know what I mean? Sonic 3 Carnival level. Oh God. Don't accidentally swallow salt water. Oof. Ugh. Subscription service. There's a subscription service. 30 Sega games drops. So you could play them as much as you wanted. Ooh. Yeah, they're comforting. I mean, they, some of those, those old games are also, like, difficult. Uh, like, I went back and played Azuric over winter break. And, uh, it was both amazing and uh very difficult although i won the game which i was pretty proud of i finally finished something that i never had finished as a kid
Oh no, so close. She raged so hard. It's Azeric is um puzzles and jump puzzles. Home from elementary school, barbecue chips, or yes. Like I mean, maybe that's why we're all on Twitch now. Is for that feeling. Okay, this isn't good. I feel like the first couple of times I did this. It was like. luck two-thirds done with my lego venator and my back now <laughs> wants to die are you like crouching over yeah um i've definitely noticed an increase in back pains that are easily attained since even just getting from my early 20s to my mid 20s Oh my god, I had this wrong the whole time. What am I doing? That made me want to die. Okay, let's see. Wait, do I have it right now? I think so. Never sneeze hard. Wait, what breaks the from a sneeze? Scott, scatting stars. What? Who, Is it like you? your back? Is How it your ribs? My desire to send you Legos. I know. Don't you wish we just live in a world where like everyone just got to do the thing that makes them most happy and everyone else like supported them to do that like everyone sends me pillows everyone sends cm legos everyone sends you know greeny D, D dice like The past is if it was the best thing ever. I do, but I know that it can't be true as I grew up. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, there's just, nostalgia is such a weird thing. I have back pain. <laughs> back, your name is back. I wasn't allowed much PC time in elementary school. One of my friends had his own PC. Oh, that's a luxury. That is a luxury. My name is- your name is Bactimus. You guys can duel each other. Cracking a rib after laughing. <laughs> Wait, what is Venator? What is Venator though? Uh, hello, you're welcome. Thanks isn't necessary. Just doing my job. More aliens? Out of nowhere. And Jal? Jal knows Do everyone. None of you remember getting frozen? Frozen? I don't understand. We were just working on the monolith and then... Uh-oh. And then you appeared. How long ago was that? You should return that? to Palev. Kieran will want to speak to you. Maybe you're right. Oh, I feel a head splitter coming on. A head splitter. We should make sure they return to the station. Who knows what lingering effects they might suffer from. Okay, so we're not going... This Sam of yours in your head, how is it allowing you to interface with the remnant? How do you know? Sam helps with analysis and translation, among other things. It's complicated and stores my memories for other people to view after I die 
Oh, you know what? This is so beautiful. This environment is like where I want. This is like an underdark environment where you'd go on a drow date. Like, Jalax will take me to the glowing mushrooms again. The main star destroyer in the clone. Oh! In the Clone Wars. Hey, I know that show. Hey, we'll get to watch Clone Wars tomorrow night, too. We'll have the, the little Discord outbursts that I usually have. Message in the Star Wars channel. Um about whatever thing is happening or or if Hondo has an appearance. Would go on a drow date. It's like a perfect little scene for that. It's a star warship. Hey! Jedi Cruiser. Oh, it's usually called Jedi Cruiser. That makes sense. That that helped me. Thank you, Lego, for saying that. Bandit! Hello! I didn't even see you come in. How are you? Pillow Ford has missed you. Literally, because I missed your message, apparently. <gasps> good night, Salt! Have a good rest. Don't know Have a good Sunday. Let's be careful. I hope you actually do rest. This is such a pretty place to go for this quest. It'll be interesting to see what the next place is like. Oh, that's... Is there an easier way to get up here? I still haven't really figured out the double jump system. Not gonna lie. I'm sure there's more things I could have done and more I could have explored and scanned, but I'm just playing this with vibes. You don't feel any different? I don't think so. Why? Oh no, I hope they're you... okay. My mind feels clouded, but I don't know if I'm just tired. I mean, you just woke up from being frozen, so... Wait, the Discord demanded I give it my phone number, then sent me a password. Cool. Until after I put in the password, it sent me and demanded I put in another code again. Wait. Okay. I don't know why. It should just be f one code. Came in while you all discussed your first game. Oh no! Well, welcome in. Did you did you talk about the games? How have you been? We've had uh, hate raids into the Discord before, so that's why there's phone number verification on it. Um, as of right now, it's just like one of the only protections from like people just getting in there and doing bad stuff, so. What do you mean, gray spiky aliens? Cat? No. These were different. We were doing a survey of the area and saw them before the freeze. You mean Turians? You saw Turians? Why don't you and Torvar talk Turians? about that later? Right now, I want to thank you for saving my team. You weren't lying. Kiran told us everything. She even had pictures. I apologize for the indifferent welcome you received from me earlier. I mean, it's it's fair. I expect it. Enter a second password to accept changes. You should just have... Do you already have a Discord account? You should just have your Discord account regular password and then... I don't know. I don't know why. what's going on with that. Considering drow culture doesn't really have consent as a concept. I don't think drow do dates. Well, that's just been Zabrin's and drow. And loath drow. Uh, I don't know what's happening with that then, cultist Tim. I was sent three codes to join. 
I gave up after the second time they sent multiple passcodes. That's weird. I don't know why it's three codes though. In my experience with it, it's only been like one. Or like Discord gives you multiple different codes that you can choose from as like backup codes, but the backup codes are like different. Yeah, the Bioware perspective. Yeah, I've never had that either. I oftentimes use the, uh, the, um, what's it called? QR code to log in though. And so like, I don't know if that makes a difference, but. <sighs> you weren't that bad. After everything you faced, I wouldn't have blamed you if you shot at me. <laughs> We're all glad that didn't happen. Ryder, what you have done here, your remnant understanding, and your Sam should convince Ephra you're an asset. We should speak to him as soon as we can. Perhaps on the Tempest? Kieran, I've been thinking, if Ryder can use remnant, couldn't we fix the monoliths? Stop Havarl's decline? Havarl's decline? This will take uh -oh. time to explain. We can discuss it further when you have time. And don't forget to talk to Torvar about those. What did you call them? Turians? <laughs> Turians? <laughs> hey, we leveled up. Okay, cool. Um. Oh my God, we have we have a variety of things to do from this. Kieran wants to talk more about Haval's decline. We should discuss it when you have time. You said you saw Turians in the jungle? Is that what they're called? We didn't know. In the know. jungle. We just kept out of sight. They crashed here, I think. Anti-bot system, yeah. There are a lot of... There are a lot of weird... Kind of like similar to when... Twitch was having... The really bad bot raids and... and Things like that. That that happens in Discord a lot too. But I've never had to go through a lot of loops to do the two fa the two factor authentication. Personally, at least, I don't know. Were they all right? Or are they still alive? Still alive? I don't know. We were stuck in that stasis field for a while. I guess they could still be out there. Unless they try to eat something, or the Roka got them. I'll give you the nerve point and you can go see for yourself. We can speak more later. I'll be here. Okay, so we talked to him about the Turians. We could find the Turian encampments. Um, what else was on our to-do list? We go to the Tempest and talk to the... Okay. Uh... Hmm. Maybe we look for the Turian encampment while we're here. Rider family secrets. Oh, and I have a PB secret project email. I like how you miss the Turians. <laughs> Is that like I said because I was like, oh, I'm not really going to explore right now. Turian Ark, not dead yet. What the? <laughs> uh. well, yeah, let's go talk to the Turian. Let's go find the Turians. <laughs> Me who was like, let's play this more streamlined and not get distracted by exploring. The game's like, excuse me? You don't want to find the Turians? I honestly, I'm the same way cultist him, but you know what? You, you tried, you tried joining. Maybe in the future at some point it'll work out. Um, I don't know what's going on with 
the codes for you, but... Well, if Manolia also had this issue, now I'm wondering if there's some sort of thing going on. But other people have been joining recently in the Discord, and they haven't said anything about it, so... Uh, but I'm the same way about Discords, like... I get overwhelmed by messages in general. And I'm like in a few discords, but I I can hardly ever bring myself to look <laughs> at other ones because I'm like, I'm either like all or nothing, you know? Either I'm gonna spend all my time in the discord and make sure I catch up with everything or I just, I can't go there. What is that? Oh! I need backup. I need backup. These guys came out of nowhere. I don't know why I was trying to use my sniper rifle like a shotgun. But we're good. I think it's asking for my Discord password after I put in the code that's sent to me. Okay. These guys are fast. Oh, they go like invisible too. I hadn't even noticed that. Remains. Oh, it looked like he was still alive for a second. This is a, you know, I think this is, people keep asking what I think about the game, but, um, all I can really say so far is that it's fun. It's fun to play. I don't know how I feel about the overall story yet, or the lore, or the characters, but... What are you doing back there? Targets eliminated. Nice. I'm low ammo though, so... What is that noise back there? Is that these guys making that noise? Who's shooting me? Wait, Rebel? Rebel Raider? I need to recover. For some reason, I thought that guy wasn't attacking us. I was like, oh, friendly. Extra layers of security when you're in popular line. Yeah, well, honestly, I used to not have the extra layers of security and then like stuff happened. So now my mentality is like, Rather than trying to clean up a mess, prevent it if possible. Ryder, Roka. What are they doing out here? Those are Natanas uniforms, Pathfinder. The Turian Arc. Why are we fighting then? 
Oh, no, no, okay. Got target. They're back. So, so I didn't expect to find the Turian arc so soon. Guys, I feel like alarmed. Okay, I'm getting shot here. I didn't expect to find any of the arcs, like... I don't know. I don't even know where to stand. Standalone compared to Mass Effect 1, I really wish I'd make an eventual sequel. A sequel to this game, specifically? Oh my god, I'm getting just destroyed. Jaws just like in there. Um, I miss being able to like pause. I don't remember how to res people. Enemies. We, we killed them. I'm out of ammo. Uh, y'all, I have zero ammo. Oh. Where's PB's body? This is madness. Not what I expected exactly, but this game is meh. I like that people have different feelings about it. some people have like told me they adore this game. I feel like it provokes a similar reaction to like Dragon Age Inquisition. But more people liked Inquisition than than didn't. Um but with Dragon Age Inquisition, I I enjoyed it, but I felt less I felt less like personally close to it. Oh, left alt to look. I can never hit that in time. Oh, they're coming from behind us. Well, let's get some ammo. I did not think we were going to find any of the arcs. Maybe I like... Overestimated that being a main story kind of thing. Okay. Please hide. Please hide. Sometimes I want to call Ryder Shepherd really bad. Oh, not so bad. Good even. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. The gameplay is fun. Like I said, it's too early to say with, like, my overall impression of the bots and characters. I mean, so far I'm enjoying the characters, honestly, too. Um, I do think if you compare to like Mass Effect 1, when you're first meeting a lot of those characters, I was like craving more companion content in Mass Effect 1, which Mass Effect 2 ended up satisfying but like when I played Mass Effect 1 I felt so much violence like I could have used more character development but then it's the beginning you know is this near the beginning of the game I don't know how far we are but I, I don't think we're that far we've only been playing for uh, basically this month so we had our character creation back in like December before I was gone for the holidays for a month and then started missions January. So like we've only played it three, four days. 
Combining some of the best elements of the trip. Yeah, I, I feel like the, the crew, the time that we're getting exposed to the crew, I like so far. Like how they were just bantering in the ship and like moving around more. Gameplay itself is not, is... Okay, good, even the gameplay. It does better than the original trilogy. In many places, it feels empty, uninspired. Hmm. That's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> yeah, I... And I think what what drives people's opinions of, of these games, too, is like... Um... It, it's really easy to like the games best where you like the characters best. I don't know, like, like say that your favorite romance ends up being in Mass Effect Andromeda or, or is in the main Mass Effect trilogy, like, that's probably going to influence how you feel about that game in general, at least if you play for that, if, if you play for the characters and, and romance and that sort of thing. Like, if you're not that into the Mass Effect series romances and then you came into this game and you met someone that you thought was a really cool character, then you're probably going to like Andromeda better. Hello, Turian leader! So glad you are named as such. I've had experience with a few Turian leaders. Oh. Shot to the gut. Painful. Okay. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is trying. Ryder, human pathfinder. Oh, we've got rain on our face. <gasps> I A like Spectre. that. Special tactics. He doesn't on his really. Did the council's dirty work for 15 years. That was cool though. Cinnamon, hello. Philly tried too hard. Good day, but maybe should not have been. It's too early for me to say yet, but it's still so weird to me that your squad didn't ever really talk to each other. Yeah. 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 Dragon Age and Mass Effect have different feels in that regard. Like, I felt like I was craving more of that party banter. And also in, in Dragon Age, you... you you bring three companions with you everywhere, and I feel like there's more room for different dynamics between the characters. I just feel like the whole romance element of the Dragon Age series is like a bigger part of it than I felt like in the Mass Effect series. And I'm not saying that that's good or bad, but for me personally, I like it. Um, I know, party band is just like having the friends. It's just like having Twitch chat, pillow fort, pillow tots, just the middling. The word middling just makes me think of Geralt. Evil is evil, Stregobor. Greater, lesser, middling. What, like their laundry? Oh my god, that line was More so like good! Assassinations and, <laughs> and he actually the laughed. Initiative was my retirement plan. He's like, I did their dirty work. And bam, their laundry? Woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. Oh god, like that that's rough. You. Now, those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason. Our pathfinder. Oh no. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm still learning these things. Sam. Oh yeah, Sam told me there were multiple different Sams. I forgot about that. It was weird when he said Sam. I'm like, wait, why do you have Sam? <laughs> Sam is in my brain. Why are you also getting Sam? Um. That was, I loved that joke. That rider joke was so good. 
like oh you guys I forgot I got an eyelash curler um I didn't want to try it it just came in the mail today and I didn't want to try it today before stream in case it cuts off or rips out all of my eyelashes like the reviews that I read horror stories of online but I'm gonna try it that's exciting oh and I got a new shoelace too for my shoes sorry had to say it <laughs> The little, the little things. And I didn't have, I didn't have the chocolate chip pancakes and hot chocolate this morning for brunch, but I'm thinking Sunday brunch D&D &D day, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, I think, tomorrow. One lace, no, it's two. <laughs> it came in a pack of two. Cultist Tim, have a good rest. Yeah. We're almost getting to my bedtime too. Um, thank you for hanging out. Yeah, you know, it was a pack of two shoelaces. I had the thing with a shoelace where it looks like the, the the fat part of a worm. You know how worms have like the smaller part, the smaller part, and then they have that section. I forget what it's called. I used to do science class and I learned these things. They have that bigger section that's like puffier. That happened to my shoelace on one of my shoes, my left shoe. And so even though my shoes aren't that old, I'm like, well, I've never bought shoelaces on their own before, but I'm gonna have to investigate this. Turns out I had to know the length of the shoelace and uh, had to measure it. Oh God. Wish I had good news for you. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated he his could life be. to Andromeda. He's too stubborn. I mean, to we die don't now. know. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from Natanus are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. So we're gonna go looking for you him. You go maybe. left, I go right. <laughs> something like that. This guy Here's likes my, my jokes. Call when you find something. I like a man who laughs at my bad jokes. I really do. Um, remember, you never know when someone's at the end of their rope. Try to make everyone smile or laugh. Oh. Good night, Tim. That's sweet. Oh, memory trigger? Yeah, Another that's- Another trigger, Sam? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Mm. Additional triggers are required. Uh-oh. Maybe I do need to explore most more so I can get more memory triggers. But that's like kind of the mentality I try to take into teaching too. Sometimes, um, I don't know. I like to go easy on students and not in a way where I'm like, oh, haha, ha, this class is an easy grade, but like most of the time they're just trying to do their best to like deal with life. And um, my class is like one tiny, 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 tiny sliver of that. Uh, okay. Well... This might be an okay stopping point if it lets me save. Your teacher too? Yeah. Kind of. Grad student, so... Teach... Hybrid teacher-student kind of situation. Um, oh, we didn't level up. What the heck? Not me ignoring level up. First of all, let's auto-level you. Let's auto level you. Let's. I. Hmm. What can we use? You know what? I'm going to keep buffing my combat fitness for now because. Consumable effectiveness, health regeneration. Let's look at our sniper rifles. Spare ammo! Or less weight. 
spare ammo. Nice. Cool. Well, that didn't take me too long to make up my mind about. Confirm. My goal in this game is to like have fun and get the experience of playing it. And I'm trying not to let myself get the kind of Dragon Age Inquisition feeling where like I I feel overwhelmed by the amount of things. So I'm trying to keep like a narrow scope every time I sit down to play this and just be like, okay, just focus on doing this one thing for now. Um because it helps me enjoy these bigger games more when I feel like a little bit more in control of what's on my like to-do list. Uh, so yeah, I feel like I might stop here because if we go on, it might be another like half hour or so before we get to the stopping point of this quest of finding this other Pathfinder. Too much content, more than Witcher 3. Yeah, I don't I don't know the technicalities of comparing the content between Witcher 3 and Inquisition, but like, oh my God, Witcher 3 is huge. This is a good, you know what CM, I love you because you have a good balance of reassuring me and also being honest with me hello and also good night agent brown sugar how have you been student teacher for the local college um i am i teach uh, mostly freshmen in college. Witcher 3 is a better game, but I still prefer Inquisition. I respect that opinion, because I think I would agree. I think I would agree. I think Witcher 3, from my experience so far, is a better game than Dragon Age Inquisition. If you can say, like, better, like, obviously that depends on what you're like. I think it was more, a more successful with what they wanted to do, or like it fe feels more successful. Um, the content feels less empty in Witcher 3, even though it's super overwhelming like Inquisition. It's Android development homework, super fun stuff. Oh no! <laughs> you know what? Make some good food, power through it, you got this. No, that's rough. Seems like sometimes I want to be encouraging like that, but the reality is some things you just can't be encouraged out of. Like some things just suck and that's okay to acknowledge. We're trying to become teachers. Okay. Well, have a good rest. Um, companions. Yeah. It's that's so true. That's I think literally CM. That's like the same thing that sells me. Um, on like Inquisition versus like something like The Witcher is that I love the companion dynamic so much in Bioware games. And I didn't realize how much I liked that until playing like Dragon Age for the first time.